So right before the service begins, the crucifer will walk to the front of the room and retrieve the cross and then bring it to the back of the room where all of the servers are present. And then the priest will ring the bell, there will be an op opening prayer and then an introductory song. And that is your cue, crucifer, to begin walking down the center aisle, leading the rest of us. And just a quick tip, walk about half as fast as you think you need to, because we don't want to run up that aisle. Second, after you're seated and there's a few moves in the service, the worship pastor will say, the children may now follow the cross to Kids Quest. And this will be the second time the crucifer touches the cross during the service. And so he or she will go and take the cross, but not the cross that you walked in with, but the Kids Quest cross, which is the one with the wooden handle that sits to the side of the altar. And you will walk out and lead the children to Kids Quest. And while I said walk half as fast for your first introductory procession, you can walk normal speed for this one because if you don't, the kids will beat you out. The third time that a crucifer will touch a cross during the service is during the offertory. And so uh, plates will be passed around the room and people will give as they feel led. Um, and then at the end of the offertory, the doxology is saying. And so during the passing of the plates, the crucifer should move to the back of the room and stand next to that Kids Quest cross that's been left back there. And then once the doxology begins to be saying, you're going to walk up the center aisle just like you did at the very beginning of service for that introductory procession. But following you will not be the priest and the server, but instead it'll be an usher with filled plates uh, with the intent to give them to the priest so that he can lift them up to the Lord. And so all you need to do is you walk down that center aisle and then you will go and place the Kids Quest cross back from where you got it in the first place and then return to your seat. The fourth time that you as the crucifer will touch the cross in a service is for the closing procession. And so the server, is going to, before you go and retrieve your cross, is going to have to put out the candles. And so there's gonna be a closing benediction and a blessing, and, and, and the server will go and get the extinguisher and will put out both candles. And then as he or she is coming to sit down, that's your cue, Crucifer, to stand up, retrieve that main cross that you first walked in the room with, and you will begin to exit and do our concluding procession in which all of the priests and all of the servers will follow you. Um, a, a tip is that you're going to want to make sure that you're not running far ahead of all of the other people serving with you who are following you. A procession is like a march, so you all wanna to stay together. So you might need to wait just a few seconds um, at, the, at the start of the chair line before you start this concluding procession. And the final thing is after the procession has been done, you see the, the final person walking towards you is going to be the priest. And once the priest has come to the back of the room, that's your cue to return the cross to the front of the room. So that's important. The cross is going to conclude the service at the front of the room behind the altar.